Today I'm going to share with you my entire latex collection. Hi, hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Maddie and this is Chibi. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my entire latex clothing collection. I'm going to show you all of the items, how they fit on me, as well as the prices, where they're from, and if I would recommend them. A couple of the items over the years have seen a little bit of damage, so I'll explain more about that when we get to those items, but this video is a long time coming. A lot of you have been requesting it. I know I don't make that many latex videos anymore on this page, but I do still post elsewhere very, very regularly. So comment below if you want to see the links for that. Whereas this channel is a little bit more generally fashion based. So if you like any of these videos, please give this a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to check out more latex content, comment below and I will tell you where to go to do that. And these videos, especially this one, trying on everything, do take a long, long time to film. So if you want to share your thanks in the form of a little gift, for example, a coffee, then head to the link in the description box. I set up this little site that essentially lets you, the viewers, support me, the creator, in doing what I love and doing what you love to watch by just donating little bits, whatever you can, anything from a cup of coffee to paying my rent for the month if you want to. All that information will be down in the description box. But for now, let's get straight on into the latex clothing. <laughs> So starting out with the first company that I ever received latex from, Honor UK. And a quick disclaimer, everything you'll see in this video was either gifted to me from the companies directly or paid for by my subscribers, gifted to me by individuals. But that doesn't mean this video is in any way sponsored. The items were all given to me two years ago, three years ago, five years ago. So I am under no obligation to say anything positive about any of these items, I'm gonna give you 100% my honest opinion, but I did just wanna make that very clear. If you've seen any of my other latex videos and you think that they were sponsored, they were not, but I did not use my own money to purchase them. But I did go on the website and find every single item, including the current prices. So I will try to convert it all to US dollars because some of it is in British pounds, some of it is in Australian dollars. And just to keep it a lot more simple and easier to compare, we're going to stick with US dollars today. Oh, and in case you're wondering how I store everything, I used to do this a lot more glamorously, but currently all my latex is just in these bags. I used to have them on plastic coat hangers and then in garment bags based on color, but I actually heard that even the coat hanger, the plastic from the coat hanger can be damaging to the latex. So now I just powder them up with some baby powder, fold them, again, keeping the colors separate, specifically anything black from any lighter colored latex, and then store them in these like fabric bags. So this is my little pink dress, but we'll get to that later. The first company that ever reached out to me to send me latex was Honor UK. I actually have the most amount of my latex is from them. And the first three items I ever tried were a micro skater skirt, a black. And the first items I ever tried for them. And the first items I was ever sent were a micro red skater skirt, a black tube top and a red zip up dress. Now I do have all the exact information on the laptop behind my camera. So, so starting with the micro skirt, as you can see, it is very much micro It is a very short skirt and I love the cut of this. I did not select this and I don't know that I would have selected this off the website. It wouldn't have been my go-to choice, but the way it moves with your body is really mesmerizing. I genuinely love this skirt. I don't know in terms of like wearing it out in public. I don't think I ever would if it wasn't like a costume party just because it's not really my typical style, but I do really love the color. I think it is flattering on my skin tone. The quality was really good. I will say of all the pieces I received from Honor UK, this one is the only one that has broken. So you can see here a chunk of the latex at the waistband ripped off. I'm not sure if I did something wrong with this. Again, this was one of the very first things, the very first pieces of latex I ever received. So I've had it for probably six years now and I'm sure I was not storing it correctly at the time. The rip starts 
at the seam and then a whole chunk there is missing. So when I put this on for photos or videos, I just switch that part to the back so that nobody can see it. I still use the skirt, but in terms of like wearing it out in public, even if I did like the style, it would be probably too damaged to get away with, but I honestly would recommend this skirt and it is a reasonable price. So this skirt was 65.99 pounds, which works out to be about 85 US dollars. Now, what I typically wear this with is this little black tube top. Also by Honor, oh, both of these are size smalls. Well, I assume the skirt is a size small. The label has actually completely worn off on the red skirt, whereas my other items still have visible tags. So this is a size small by Honor. I really love this tube top. This is actually something that I feel like if you're just getting into latex, this is very wearable. It doesn't look super crazy. Like going out in a cat suit is a little bit obvious, but if you're just getting started with latex and you don't know what is a good thing to purchase at the beginning, I feel like a tube top is very underrated. Most people suggest getting latex leggings, but they are a lot more expensive. This tube top is only 35.99 pounds, which is about 46, 47 US dollars. So honestly, very affordable. It also is very cute. You can wear it with anything, with skirts, pants, jeans. It's very versatile. If you do also have a pair of black latex leggings, you can definitely wear them together with then a nice little like coat over the top. Really recommend it, really comfortable. This is perfectly my size as a size small. I am quite small chested, so this is great for me. Highly recommend. I have had no issues and I have worn this many, many times. <laughs> the third item is this red zip dress. So the zip here is silver, really high quality, a working zip. You could zip it all the way down and back up. Personally, in terms of putting this dress on, I would not recommend unzipping it too far. Try to put it on just like a regular dress and then just adjust the zip around the chest area because if you are unzipping the entire thing, it's actually a lot harder to get it back up. But really love this dress. Again, gorgeous color, high quality materials, really flattering, snatches you in at the waist, gives you some hips. I feel like the cut is also really nice and a really underrated simple design with, with the zip just adding a nice additional detail. I have not actually worn this out of the house ever. I, I do wear it a lot to take pictures and videos and things, but I've never had like an excuse to wear this out of the house, whereas some of my other items are a little bit easier to wear. It's not that this is like crazy to wear. I feel like if you were going to a nightclub in a big city, this would be totally fine. Where I live, it's very much like small town vibes. So if I showed up in this, I mean, I'd be the center of attention and there's nothing wrong with that. But um, people where I live do not wear bright red shiny dresses. But if people where you live do, or you just don't care about being the center of attention, then then this is possibly the dress for you. This dress was 99 pounds, it is a size small, and that works out to be about 127 US dollars. Sticking with Honor, this item I actually received a few years later for Halloween, and it's called the Sweetheart Sculpted Top. I call it a corset, and it does have the corset back, but it's not actually labeled that on the website, and this is the one item I forgot to try on, so I'll try to find some photos or videos recently of me wearing this. I love this corset. Super cute. I will say the standard sizes, like I said, I'm a smaller chested person. So the cup sizes are slightly too big for me, but I really don't care. It kind of gives me more like triangular shapes, but I'm kind of into it. I just roll with it. I think it's really cute. The tightening at the back, you can really tight lace it if you want to. And it snatches in your waist. The way it is sculpted, I don't know if you can see there the way the panels go in and around at the hips. It really helps to accentuate your hips and your waist and it is stunning. Again, this is not something I would probably have chosen for myself if it wasn't for a like costume. This was going to be part of a Catwoman costume. But I love it. I would wear this out with, with jeans or with latex leggings, with a skirt. You can layer it over a dress. This is very wearable and very sexy. Like, yes, you might stand out, but in a good way, it's not too much. 
I think because it's black, it helps to kind of make it a little bit more wearable for public. The only issue with this is it's kind of a pain in the ass to put on by yourself because the strap, the tie up strap at the back, if it was just a little bit longer, this would be perfect. Like I wish the strap was long enough that I could leave it laced up and then like shimmy into this, like pull it up and then just like cinch in the ties, but I can't do that. I have to basically unthread it to at least the halfway point and then relace it while I'm wearing it. So if I'm by myself, that is just a pain in the ass to do. So that is the only downside to this. It makes your body look amazing because of all the boning and like structure in this, like it's literally boned like a course, like it's holding its shape right now. It's not gonna go, it's, <laughs> it's not gonna flop in the middle. This one is more expensive at 120 pounds, which works out to 155 US dollars more or less. So a little bit more expensive, but again, you can wear it so many different ways and I would highly recommend. Just be cautious of the cup sizes. I feel like if you were a C cup or a D cup, this would be perfect, whereas I'm more like a B. So I do have a little bit of room in here, but still looks cute and I do still wear it. The sun has officially set and it got really cold all of a sudden, but this next item is also from Honor UK and it is my black tube dress. This dress is one of the ones, well, the dress that has the most views out of all of my content ever on my latex TikTok. This has, I think, 20 something million views for this little black dress. It is the perfect little black dress. I have another tube dress that not gonna lie, I also love, I love the color of the other one more. I'll show you that in a second. But the fit of this one is perfect. It is a size small. It fits me just the way it should. It is tight in all the right places, but not too tight. I really don't even know what else to say about it. You can see in the videos, it is just a really cute, really simple, really simple dress that you could dress up, dress down. You can layer a t-shirt underneath it, over the top, wear it with jackets, wear it with like put a skirt over the top if you want. I have worn this so many different ways and I love it. This I would and I do wear out of the house. Like if I was going to a club, even here, I feel like I could get away with this even though we're living in very much like small town vibes because it's black. Black latex I feel like is a lot more acceptable quote to wear in public than something that's maybe a bit brighter, a bit more obvious or anything with zips or studs, then it feels a little bit more edgy. Whereas this is just like a cute dress and it happens to be latex. It's not like super obviously latex clothing, if you understand what I'm saying. This was also very reasonably priced. This dress was 89.99 pounds or 116 US dollars. Okay, and finally from Honor, we have this catsuit. You can't really see it because I'm wearing it, but that's what the footage over here is for. And I will double check when I take it off, but I'm pretty sure this is also a size small. I think everything from Honor was a size small, all standard sizings, nothing custom. You can order things custom sized from them, but I just haven't. And again, all of these items were gifted. So I just trusted um, the person I was communicating with that they would send me the correct sizes and they did. This definitely like, like I said, I'm a smaller chested woman. So if you had a larger chest than me, this would still be okay. It fits me and like looks fine, but there definitely is a bit of room that if you needed more space, you would still be okay with this. The legs are tight, but not too tight. It zips up and is really comfortable. Sometimes when things have zips, it's like scratchy and irritating, but this like there's just enough spare room at the neck that it doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Yeah, I honestly, other than for Halloween or for these videos, I probably would never have purchased a catsuit, especially not a sleeveless catsuit, but I really like the way it looks on. I think it is really flattering. I think you can style it a ton of different ways. If you like the traditional catsuit vibe, you could definitely get a long sleeve one instead or wear this with gloves or wear this with a long sleeve top underneath or over the top, just add a jacket like I have and it looks like it's a full cat suit. I really like this. Would I have purchased it with my own money? Honestly, probably not if I didn't have a costume party to go to where I needed something like this, just because it's not something that I would personally wear out of the house other than 
as a costume. But again, if I lived in a bigger city, somewhere that was a bit more fashion um, experimentative, then now that I have it, maybe I would wear it out. There are definitely many ways that you could style this very cute just for like everyday wear. I just personally don't. <laughs> And this catsuit is currently 225 pounds or about 290 US dollars. Okay, moving on quickly to Honey Burdette. I only have two items from them. This is an Australian lingerie store. They just happen to have some, they call it latex lingerie, but they're just latex like clothing items. They do have like, um, they do have stockings and like the, the suspenders that hold up the stockings and hot pants. I have a pair of hot pants, so... Let's start with those, but they're not really like, it's not lingerie necessarily. You just could use it as lingerie, but the store itself is very much a lingerie and toy store. Now the way Honey Burdette works is they have like two sizes. I think they either have the average, which I guess would be like a small medium or they have large. So it's like small, medium or large, extra large. So both of the items I have are the average size, which is like a small, medium. These hot pants do fit me really well. Could they be a little bit tighter? Maybe. I mean, honestly, I think these are the perfect hot pants. They're very, they're full coverage for like if these were, if this was considered lingerie, they would be very full coverage. But if you were wearing these as part of a costume and these were your, pants then I feel like it covers just enough that it's not like too scandalous if you know what I mean I have actually worn these in many different ways you can wear these underneath other sheer items you could wear these as a bikini at the beach if you wanted to like go crazy I don't know how the latex would react with the sand but it looks like it would be a very honestly conservative bikini or I've even worn them over the top of some leggings when I was doing like a, a superhero cosplay so lots of different ways you could wear these. I typically will wear them if I'm just taking pictures like on their own as pants and pair it with the black tube top from um, from Honor. And it looks like a set. That's the thing with black latex. Even if you bought them from three different stores, it all kind of looks the same and you can definitely mix and match really easily. And it looks like a matching set. Now these hot pants are 100 Australian dollars, which is about... And then the leggings, which again, made out of the exact same fabric, but we've got a legging now, are 160 US dollars. And they are very good quality. The look is gorgeous. They fit me really well. These fit me better than the other pair of leggings I have that I'm gonna show you in a second. But I will say this is my second pair of Honey Burdette latex leggings in the size average. I don't know what happened to the first one. Again, I think I was putting them on as they ripped and I don't know if my nails dug into the fabric and I made a mistake and ripped them or if they were just weak. I don't know, but that the pair that ripped, I had probably had for only a couple of months, maybe six months at most when they broke. Whereas then I got a replacement shortly after and, I, and I've had those leggings for more than four years now with no issues. So I don't know if... Honey Burdette makes weaker latex or if it's just a coincidence because the second pair has been totally fine. So again, anything that I did in early days of latex, I think is probably a me problem because I just didn't know how to take care of it back then. Whereas things I've gotten more recently, I've taken better care of and they lasted longer. And these leggings are reasonably high-waisted. They fit me exactly the way you would want a pair of latex leggings too. The downside to these is that they don't have that many colors and they don't have a big size range. So if you are bigger than a typical large, they just don't make them in your size. And if you're significantly skinnier than me, then this size might actually be too big for you. So yeah, not ideal. They also only have black or red. I did see once that they had like a baby blue pair of hot pants but I think that was like a special limited edition thing so these are great if you're looking at like basic especially if you are Australian and you want to be able to go in and like feel the garments and like potentially even try them on in the store it's a good place to start whereas most of the other latex stores you would have to go and shop online okay moving on to the third and final store which is Vex 
Now, this is the more expensive of the three stores by quite a bit. They're a little bit more like prestigious because they've they they've had a lot of celebrities wear their garments, whether they were gifted or it's just the celebrities happened to purchase from them. I don't know what the collaboration like side of things is, but because of that, they're more maybe more popular with like mainstream stuff. The designs are super cute, but they're not anything like crazy different than what the other sites have. I will say Vex tends to focus more on fashion pieces, whereas Honor and a bunch of the other websites I've looked at, while they do have fashion items, they also have the more like fetishy stuff. So they'll have like the full hoods and like it's leaning more towards super fans of latex rather than like celebrities on a music video kind of stuff so i really like vex in terms of their range of styles and designs and their range of colors is actually really good they have so they have a lot of customizability they have all the different styles you can buy and then you can pick which color you want which size with things like the dresses you can extend the length or with the leggings you can make them higher waisted stuff like that is really a nice feature but it is more expensive so putting that out there again i am definitely not paid to be saying any of this i would love to be gifted anything from vex but so my subscribers technically like sent the money and then i purchased them through that so so with these items i did select everything myself and i technically purchased them but with money that i was sent for this purpose if you know what I mean. And I'm actually considering adding a few new items to my wish list. So again, head to the link in my description box if you wanna see what is on my latex wish list currently. Head down there and maybe send a donation, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to do another latex haul towards the end of the year if we're lucky. But let's get started with the Vex item because I've been talking <laughs> a long time already. Um, okay, let's start out with the cheapest and my least favorite item, <laughs> the latex opera gloves. Now these are only my least favorite item because they broke. <laughs> so again, I don't have a recent clip of me putting these on because I try to wear them only when absolutely necessary. There's a little tear in the thumb. I will get a clip of me holding them up so you can see up close. One of the gloves, so one hand has a rip right between the thumb and my like first finger. So while I'm wearing them, you can't really see that the latex is ripped, but I don't like to put them on, stretch them out and potentially rip it much further because that whole thumb in theory could just rip completely off and then the gloves can't even be used for photos anymore. I do wanna say that maybe it was a faulty pair because I'd only had them for a couple of months when they ripped and I had been wearing them a couple of times, but I never wore them with with nails. I was really gentle with them because I knew how easily latex could break at this point. I, I thought I was being really responsible and really gentle with them and they still ripped. So again, I don't know if that was just a coincidence. I don't know if the quality was not as good, but I'm just letting you know that they did break fairly quickly. The other glove though, the other hand, Totally fine, um, no issues with that one. So again, could just be a complete coincidence, but it's not something I can fix on my own without going out and buying like, no, even with latex glue, I would need to then be able to patch it with something. So it's just like, yeah, I, I just need a new pair of gloves essentially, but I don't know what size these were. I think it was just a like a single, like a one size fits all kind of a glove deal. And they were about $98. So just for a pair of gloves, they are very long <laughs> gloves, but they were over $90 just for gloves and then they broke. So that is why I'm very frustrated with them. <laughs> but now we have my favorite color of latex, this gorgeous baby blue tube dress. So this is the other tube dress I have and I did pay $20 extra to have it in the pencil length. So like I said, you can customize a lot of the items on on Vex and this was a, like the standard is a mini dress version, but I paid a little bit more to get it longer. And I think it is very elegant, very beautiful. It snatches me in at the waist. However, I should have paid the extra 
I think it would have been an extra $10 or something to have it custom sized or just sized down. This is a size medium and I bought this during the pandemic and I had put on a bit of weight. I'd been going to the gym a lot, also eating a lot. So my, my concern was that it would be too tight on my glutes. So I went up a size. But as you can possibly see in the videos of me trying it on, it is too loose around my chest. So this is not really something I can do anything about now, short of purchasing the glue and taking it in myself. I mean, I could send it back and have alterations made, but that like the shipping would just be a nightmare. I love this dress and to go out to a birthday dinner or some, some kind of fancy event like this or some kind of fancy event like that, I, I actually would wear this dress if it fit me right and it just doesn't so wearing a latex garment that's just too loose and I have to constantly feel like I'm adjusting it to make sure it's sitting where it's supposed to be sit it's just really not the vibe but you know as women's bodies do they fluctuate a lot throughout the month one week of the month it fits me a lot better than the other weeks but you know yeah, this is just what I got to work with. I love the color. The quality appears to be really good. It just is not in my size. So I should have either gotten a size small or had it custom made to be smaller at the top and larger at the bottom. Another dress I got was this hot pink one. I love this color and this was originally going to be like a Barbie cosplay as well as if you remember my, um, what was it? My Kardashians videos from back this would have been in, in yeah, 2020, a long time ago now. This tank dress, super cute. The thing with this is this is also a size medium, but it fits me so much better than the other one. It's just the, the way it is like designed, the, the style of it. So if you are getting this dress, just know that it is going to fit you tighter, even if it's the same size as the tube dress. So with the tube dress, I would size down. With this one, I would maybe stick to your gut. Like again, I probably could fit into a size small in this dress just fine, but um, the medium also works totally fine. Now, while I do love this like simple tank style cut, especially with the low back, I just think the tube dresses are a little bit more flattering on me typically. This one I also did just get in the mini lengths. So it's the like the regular length and in this bubblegum pink color love the dress probably would not be brave enough to wear this out in public i don't know what it is but something about the pink just feels a little bit more tacky to me i think that's a me problem whereas the baby blue i feel like just feels more classy but unfortunately this one actually fits me way better than the blue one does oh prices by the way so so both dresses were about 315 dollars each let that sink in and with the tube dress i paid an extra 20 dollars to have it in the longer length and this one i just paid the three 315 for a dress that i'm not even wearing out of the house so yeah i probably would not have purchased this if it wasn't for those videos and if my subscribers hadn't sent me the money for it because to me, it is not worth the price. You can get similarly cute dresses, especially for such a basic style. You could get just the same from a different website, I feel like, that looks just as cute for half the price. Okay, and finally, this red set. So here I have a bikini top and red leggings. The bikini top, there's not a lot to say about it. It's a size medium. Again, I probably could have gotten away with a small, especially since it's like just a bikini but I think I was worried that if I went down a size the triangle parts would be smaller and I wanted it to be more coverage still but um yeah the straps at the back could be tighter other than that really not a lot to say about this I think it's really cute you could honestly wear it as a bikini if you want to or I love pairing it with the with the leggings because I got them to be the exact same color of latex and I think it's a really cute outfit and it works for a lot of different costumes as well. If you're looking for something that's like versatile for wearing to the club, wearing to a dinner or also styling for Halloween. I do think the bikini top and leggings combination is really cute.
The bralette was $153 though. So yeah, especially since I know how to sew myself, if I could find somewhere locally where I could buy latex from and the glue and things to make to make latex clothing, I would really be getting into that because this stuff is so expensive and so simple. But here's where I mean by like, the fact that celebrities like Kylie Jenner or Beyonce have been seen wearing Vex garments, Katy Perry, the prices just are a lot more high than, than they should be for such simple designs. All right, and finally, the leggings. Oh, and every single one of these items were a size medium, by the way, whereas the stuff from Anna were all size smalls. I did like I said, I did order these while my body was a little bit bigger than it is now. I've lost weight since then. So things do fit me not as cute as they used to. But these red leggings, I love the leggings. I think the red color is a gorgeous like addition. I don't know that I would have gotten just a pair of red leggings if I didn't already have the black, but the red is fun. I feel like it's a really good second color because a lot of people will go out wearing red leather, red leather jackets, red leather mini skirts. So why not some red latex um, pants? And for some reason, the pants feel more casual to me than the red latex zip up dress. I don't know. I can't explain it, but that's just how my brain works. However, these leggings, I don't know if you can tell in the video, they're just a little bit big on me and not just around the waist. Like at the waist, they actually fit okay. Like, yes, they could be smaller, but they're not baggy or loose or anything but they're kind of big at my calves which is a little bit weird so maybe if they were a size small this would be better or if I was still currently going to the gym super regularly and lifting weights and my legs got more muscular then I think these would look even better but right now with the way my body is currently looking the leggings are just a little bit too big for me to have that like real latexy effect. If you're a latex lover, then you'll know exactly what I mean. They're just not as tight as they should be. But other than that, there's nothing wrong with the leggings. They're super cute. Um, I did pay an extra $15 to have them high waisted. So the total for those was, again, 300 and something, $383. So I guess it was more like 360 something to have them like low waisted um you can also get a zip in the crutch if you want one I did not pay for that addition I don't like things to have the zips in the crutch I mean this cat suit does and for a cat suit it's a little bit different because trying to take the whole thing off to go to the bathroom is a pain in the butt but with leggings it's not that hard and I think having a zip in the crutch makes it look more tacky personal opinion um i know people who like latex for bedroom reasons then they might want the zip crutch but in terms of wearing it out in public i do think the zip crutch is just kind of a tacky move and i would much prefer to have it without <laughs> okay we started with one cat in the background and are ending with the other but that is my full collection. Like I said, it's not huge and I specifically chose to not include PVC items because this is just my latex collection. So I do have another cat suit that's PVC. I have I have lots of other random items from like high quality PVC cat suits all the way down to like little PVC latex look, latex look like um stockings and gloves that I got from Amazon. So if you'd be interested in seeing a collection of all of that random um, gear, then please comment below. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, if you would like to support me in any way, please head to the links down below. You can donate a cup of coffee or bigger items if you're interested. Or honestly, if you want to support me for free, then just give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, maybe share it with a friend or copy the link play it on repeat, click on the ads when they pop up, and that is a free way that you can support me or any of your other favorite creators. So I now have a lot of latex to pack up and put away. If you have any questions, then please comment down below. I will try to add links to these items in the 
um, in the description box or down in the comments if you are interested. But if I do forget to add any information, then please just comment and I will update it. I am currently posting a lot more often over on my latex TikTok page as well as my other like paid subscription sites. So if you want to see more up close videos of any of these garments or just more latex content in general, be sure to follow me over there. Comment below if you want the links and I can send them to you. I just can't like <laughs> be too explicit about it in this video because then it'll get flagged and it's this whole big thing. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. But for now, besos y hasta la próxima. See you next time.